Hello everybody and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney here on the Boss King Returns YouTube channel. When we last left off we just finished the second investigation on Turnabout Samurai. And um, yeah, I am once again joined by my good friend. Joe from Mad Joe the Gamer, what's up? Yes, uh, Mad Joe the Gamer, home of the AJ Podcast, our weekly podcast where we talk about fucking nothing. Anyways. That's bullshit. <laughs> Most of the time we're just talking about my fucking Discord server, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest, yeah, and how, and how hardcore you sit for Among Us Chicken McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a man, there. <laughs> a man bought a fucking chicken McNugget for a hundred thousand dollars. It was like... And one and one of our future hosts just called me a cute. Okay. Wait, what? Let's <laughs> one of the future me one of the future members of this uh, series. The um yet as yet unknown person who will join us during Apollo Justice just called me cute. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Mm. Mm. October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. <laughs> and Joe just told me to cease existing. This is just how my life is. Lack um, of evidence. One person, extreme <laughs> positivity. The other one, extreme kill yourself. Okay. That's you! <laughs> That is just me. Like half the time, I'm being incredibly I positive more to people. I'm extreme, like pestilence, like just death. I feel like I'm like fifty-fifty. Hey, don't kill yourself. Be positive. The other half of the time, it's like Joe, just fucking die. <laughs> okay. Anyways, October nineteenth, nine forty-two. For the unknown uh, member, be positive. Be kill yourself, Alameo. <laughs> okay, let's get back. Um. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Wright. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? <clears throat> um, nothing. <laughs> really, it's uh, nothing. Right, Mia? Oh god, she looks even worse. Phoenix? Your client's practically a dead man walking. Well, we're not playing that Bon Jovi music, alright? So put this radio down. Okay. Perhaps that's why I fear particularly close to him, because I'm already dead. <laughs> this is no time for dead people jokes, <laughs> please. <laughs> I know we're gonna get through this trial utterly defenseless, but you know, that's usually the best part to get a woman wet. Don't worry, I'll just beat the shit out of Cody Hackins. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like, just like the uh, fucking, I just, when you said that, I can't air to Phoenix, I'm just walking, Cody Hackins on the stand, Phoenix, I'm just walking up, just giving him a haymaker, and then the uh, haymaker, just giving Cody haymakers on the face. I'm sorry, I just Everybody really do not- watching it happen. I'm sorry, I just don't like Cody Hackins, he's just a shitty character. <laughs> Um, yeah, at least he always shows up for one case, let's be honest. I, I yeah, edited in that picture that I edited yesterday. <laughs> uh, that would be more useful for this video, not the last one. Uh, okay. If we were unable to find something overlooked, and yet, and yet it's good to prove it. Something overlooked, huh? We need to find something today, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm one thing I'm more surprised. How come our nipples ain't showing? I don't know. I I I don't know. They probably should be, but they're ghost nipples, so it, it, it's questionable. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Does this mean is Maya titless? Um, I, I I think that just means that uh, when Mia when Mia takes over the body, the titties just disappear. Or is it that? She doesn't have any. Maybe the Faye family doesn't have any tits. <laughs> the Faye family doesn't have nipples. Okay. <laughs> it's a mystery on how they milk out how the milk gets her child. <laughs> I, I guess some um, fucking I don't know uh, formula. 
<laughs> is that or lose the trial? This is not going to be easy. Remember, just lose the trial is a lot better. October 19th, 10 a.m., District Court Lobby, Defendant Lobby Number 4. Holy damn. The court's now in session on a trial of Mr. Will Powers. <clears throat> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The um, defense is uh, ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. I'm gonna fucking prove you wrong, Edgeworth. Boom! Headshot! Okay. I think we need uh, a new prosecutor. Phoenix, you, uh, headshot <laughs> your assistant. Oh, oh god, Maya. Um... I'm okay, I'm okay, Nick! Wait, wait a minute. Ma Ma Maya, aren't you in Mia mode right now? Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> she's just like fucking like this a giant hole in her head and just blood dripping. <laughs> like, I'm A okay! <laughs> Phoenix, like, LMAO bet. <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth, while, loud, while I'm letting it light up my cigar. Wonder if it'll wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Oh God, this guy or the director? Oh God. Will the witness state his name, profession? How uh, rude can you get? You don't know me. I am the director. I make still Sam right noob brothel. Did you just say the word noob out loud? Yes, you fucking scrub. Watch me 360 no scope you with my penis. <laughs> um, sir, you just shot Edgeworth. Oh uh, well, I, I I guess Edgeworth probably likes it because Edgeworth is pretty is a little gay bitch boy, but. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm photoshopping something onto his face. Okay. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I can just actually no. Knowing your photoshop skills is not gonna be that great, but I imagine it's ten times worse. Well, my photoshop skills are good. It's my. It's the fact that I have to do this in Premiere. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Sam, uh, I am the director of television. Ooh. You worry about Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes, Your Honor. Mmm. Very well. Please test for the court about the events of that day. Phoenix? Uh, why does uh, look so disappointed? <laughs> Let's start by taking his testimony apart. God, oh, yeah. I can't wait to go back to back to go like a figure on myself. Um, can't you just do that in this body? Yes, but I like to have my own spirit body to finger. You know, the ectoplasm you get. Okay, then I'm just gonna pretend I I'm gonna pretend we didn't have this conversation. <laughs> If Mr. Powers is innocent, you know what that means. You will have to get on your knees and suck his dick. Um... I don't even remember what the fuck Joe was calling him. <laughs> Who the fuck is Hugh Powers? Jackman. Who the fuck is Powers? I thought I thought the defendant was he was named Hugh Jackman. Now, whatever. Someone in the trailer on the day may have did it. Well, let's be honest. Uh, that Will Powers is just a... It's another name. You, you like you know, we must keep you know Hugh Jackman safe, so he just covers name to Will Powers. Okay, well, right, sure. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. They have the murder. Oh, so once it's done, I'm gonna whip you with chains with blades all over them. 
I, I, I need, okay, calm down. Me, no. me, 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 uh, um, you, so that's why your sister does that? Okay. Out of the studio around 9 o'clock that morning. During the morning, I was up doing the action scene run through. It took a lot more than, than a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Oh, look at Penny. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. Sadly, it was not 4.20. So I could not blaze it legally. Um, you know you can, like, Japanifornia literally just fucking legalized marijuana like a week ago. You can. Yes, but I do it for the memes, LMAO, Raffle. I hate you noob. so much. You fucking virgin noob. They're in the meeting. Well, I'm pretty sure no one used the chair, used the left chairs. No one left the chairs. Fuck. That's about it. Here we go. Hmm. I should honestly commit my plan to murder Baby Yoda. The uh, hell is it? Uh, no, ignore that. Why, why do you hate Baby Yoda so much? I mean, uh, I just, just imagine you, you know, just walking up to him with a revolver and just pointing at his fucking face when he dare looks at me, just pull the trigger. So this is joy. Jo Joe. So this is why you bonked me over the head with a comically large spoon yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I. That's fuck. That was added <laughs> fucking pain a two. Fuck you. <laughs> it's literally a comically large spoon you beat the shit out of people with. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. I'm pretty sure Olivia disemboweled you for that. So I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. That's how Mr. Emerson's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at the time. Yep. Oh, ignore that. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Okay, here we go. Yes, your honor. Cross-examination. Day of the murder. Is at the studios around 9 that morning. What? Hold that! Hold it! When... Is that when you always come to work? Uh... Oh, no. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about you freaks and your industry. So... <laughs> What the <laughs> F W I W? I was pretty busy all on that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. <clears throat> During the morning, I was doing some uh, action run-through scenes. Hold it! In the employee area. <laughs> That's right. I was a. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. For some reason, I'm thinking the Evil Magistrate is fucking Dark Magician from Yu Gi Oh! What else was there in the run through? Oh, yeah. The security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Lol. She was, uh, putting her hands near the. Where the sun don't shine parts. So, um, what you're telling me is that she was masturbating the whole time. Technically, as I can tell, yes. While she was cheering on Mr. Hammer, if you could believe it. She was like, Oh, I am Mr. Hammer. Well, I did forget this show is kind of a porno, but... Uh, which is, for some reason, also shown to kids what the fuck is wrong with this country. Yeah, I thought them young. Oh god. 
Anyone else? No, that's a four. Took more time than I thought it would. Hold it! Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WB twists his ankle during the run through C. Yeah, right. That's the limp. Which, of course, led me to miss a mile launch. Rops. <laughs> oh, okay. Rops rolling on the floor, starving? I, I'm... I'm confused. <laughs> That's a shaving. <laughs> rolling on the floor, shaving. <laughs> I need to shave. <laughs> yes. I think that was, that was... I was like, what? <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, I need to trim my beard so that I, I should roll on the floor the next time I shave. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> but I had a meeting in Studio 2, so I ended up skipping lunch. Hold it! So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah. No steak, at least. Can't you believe it? <clears throat> That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah. There's something about that seem odd to you. It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd hey, now that you mention it. Smile. Hey, it's good to see you, Mia. Miss that smiling face. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Manella. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Manella. <laughs> Hey, what what do you want? Sweat intensifies. When we, when I went to studio, when I went to studio two, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, same kind as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Yeah, uh, uh, no, uh, but good, uh, but good call, sweat. I can just, uh, this, this guy just seems like the type of guy who would say M-H-M-M, -M, just out loud. <laughs> M-H-M-M, fuck you, motherfucker. I, uh, was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. The hell is wrong with your face? Mm, this is my. This is the face I do when I'm never eating pussy. Stay away from my assistant. Don't worry. She's already been caught in my chains, and she can't escape. Mia, are you okay? I'm fine. She's just uh. He has Maya, which is a better substitute. Okay, I'm scared. A T-bone <laughs> steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through that trouble. Went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat, because I, I suspect it as much. Just th that face is absolutely fucking terrifying, though. So, when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. <clears throat> I uh, wolfed it down that drool to intensifies. A mental image I will carry from me to my grave. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, doesn't that contradict his testimony? I'll press him on that one a bit more. I'm in the meetings on run four. What were you discussing? Porn. <laughs> this is a samurai story and our budget. Get this. The sponsors turned to me and say, Mr. Melena, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. 
Can you believe it? <laughs> well, Mr. Manella, there was a the fact that this show is on is on a t children's television thing to be on to begin with is kind of weird. Like you legitimately had uh, Will Powers or the Steel Samurai inserting his penis into the um, the other one. I can't remember his name. The evil magistrate, and they had a lightsaber fight with their dicks. Yeah, what the fuck know. is wrong with you? How the hell did you think this was was okay? <laughs> I mean, they must learn when they're young, am I right? Okay, gay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. Are you standing with our progress? Uh, actually, I kinda can. So nobody left the table during that whole meeting. <clears throat> In the meeting, I'm pretty sure nobody left their chairs. Hold it! You didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Yeah, not one sweats. Hmm. He's sweating so much, but I wonder if only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press him harder. Wait a second, Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you tell the court, the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? Whoops, Raffle. Well then. Um. Mr. Banana, what's all, what's this all about? Well, 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 you see, I guess we did take it a little break. Phoenix, good job. This must be, this is probably the first time I've seen you smile in like the entire, the entirety of this case. Mia, it's good Don't to see. Pull a gun on you. Why do you want to kill me so much? It's for the means, alright? Okay, whatever. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio at that time. Your Honor, I call the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Malala, your testimony, please. Oh, for the love of God, Edgeworth is laughing. Witness testimony to break. Yeah, F, F, W, I, W, we took a break, Raffle. <clears throat> that was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 in base 12. Nah, no type of soul to say, commit murder in once in Studio One, lol. There's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Steams, intensifies. I'm not even sure how you manage to eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes. It usually takes me longer than that. <laughs> I said I whooped it down. Mmm! I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Like, I'm a fairly fast eater, but it doesn't take me 15 minutes to fucking eat a... But it takes me more than 15 minutes to eat a goddamn steak. Well, so maybe you stop eating baby bites, you'll get somewhere. <laughs> the break. Yeah. You know, if I eat a t steak, I just grab it and just shove it in my mouth and eat it. Hold it! What time exactly did you take this break? Mmm... Loading. I'd say it was around 2.30 or until 2.45. 2.30, eh? That's the time of death. So you could have gone to, to the studio and killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time-wise. <laughs> It was only about 15 minutes. Hold it! What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? Sir, I remember very clearly on those plates there were no bones. I ate the bone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can ship one out just for you if you want it. There were two plates on those tables. Alright, the other one was Divas. Sorry. The Vasquez plate. 
D. Vasquez, the producer. That bitch with the smoking problem. Do you need T-Bone steak at 50 minutes? That's quite a feat. No time for somebody to say commit murder and see one Hold it! Why is that? Oh, we have enough of this Portland night of questioning. Mm. Ah, I'm pretty fucking tired too, Joe. <laughs> Still gotta get like two <laughs> or three of these out. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, I forgot. Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one sort of fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. There's a possible where any of them could go to, to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Sure, you are suggesting the people, one of the people, what did the trail in the trail went to Studio One? Um, actually, I am not saying that. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. I'm no longer smiling. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone for, for a chair and went to Studio One? It's impossible. If you remember, the thing was down. I claim it. I claim it loud. I'm not. I'm not doing it. It, it, it wasn't possible. Yeah. Also, I remember how this case ended. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in, in the trailer to go to the studio at the time. I thought you might be thoughtless, be on a thoughtless treader on an eyes again. But I see you at least have an ink, inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the brick in the trailer really came right at the time of death. However... <sighs> the path from there to the crime scene was blocked. The fallen Mr. Monkey had barred the way. It was around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio's mascot's head. Ergo, when the people of the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Miss by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Wait, it's a woman. Hmm. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I feel no desire to correct him. <laughs> I don't if we have seen enough evidence. How about to relieve Mr. Belena from the stand? Oh god, is it over? I forgot he has a ponytail. Who? Oh, well. Manella? Yeah. Yeah. So, of course, the opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several people who stood here to on the day of the murder. However, it is clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They're there. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the steel samurai, given the size of costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm yawning so much. Hey, I'm tired too, man. <laughs> All that is lacking is the size of evidence 
They, he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would, fi would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor. The prosecutor's plea said now we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. This is the first time in this goddamn series with the, that the prosecution has ad actually had to give evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, that's what the prosecution's like have decisive evidence. Phoenix right that's not so serious with decisive evidence. I just pull shit out of my ass <laughs> and make things connect. Like connect four. Mr. Rudworth, I I I skipped that line by mistake. My witness saw the very moment of steel samurai ski with the victim. Order! I will have order of two chicken nuggets. I see. The court will take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. The court is adjourned for a recess. I'm going to the monkey bars. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I get that reference, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Let the confetti fly! <laughs> October 19th, 11.10 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everybody in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. You've lost. I guess I was wrong. He is on death row. Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I never gave up on a trial before. Now, now I just... There was a chance. Only one thing became clear in cross examination. You fucking suck. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um. <clears throat> Er, uh, what's gonna happen to me? You're gonna die. It seems kinda everyone in the corner thinks I did it, even though I did do it. Wait a minute, what did you just admit? That I did, Penny. Oh. Well, that's legal, I guess, considering Penny oh, is. <laughs> She's 18, it's fine. Oh, it's low powers? 23. It, it's fine. Like, that's like five years, I think. Six, maybe? Yeah, yeah that's five years. They think I'm a murderer. But in reality, I'm just a sex offender. <laughs> 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 Phoenix willpowers being sex <laughs> I don't know why I just said that, it just came out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. And be yourself. Be strong. Be one with the force. You are in Steel Samurai. The heroes and children are everywhere, after all. Where you have to execute Order 66 on them someday. Um, from what I've seen of the show, it's more like he's executing Order 69 most of the time. More important, why are you watching a gay show? I don't know, Maya usually has it on in the office. You need help. <laughs> why do I need help? If anything, your sister oh, needs help. Don't worry, I'll have her show a samurai speed her up your ass. <laughs> of course. You. Thanks. Sniffles. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. It just, just 
Like, she takes out a lightsaber and starts, like, where are the younglings? Oh, God. <laughs> you just hear, like, kids screaming lightsaber and just, like, chopping through them. Let's do it. Wait, what do you mean by that? Post out a Glock. Let's do it. Um, what do you mean by that? <laughs> she takes his pants yeah, off. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's like, it's just, she just moves into the bathroom, <laughs> locks the door, it's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Maya needs to, you know, you know, uh, let's be honest, she uses her dick game week, let me show, let me show you how it's really done. <laughs> okay, let's get back to court. <laughs> October 19th, 11.15am, district courtroom, district court, courtroom number four. Nope. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Power. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great school of, of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that offense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. <laughs> uh, nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. It's so a Phoenix, but I have the high ground. <sighs> you However, underestimate my power. Okay. Don't. Don't try it. I'm not gonna try it, Edgeworth. Just keep going. <laughs> However, we have no choice. The prosecution call, uh, calls for Commander Cody to the stand. Don't give him don't give him a cool nickname. It's Cody Hackens. Shut up. No, no, no it's like the Commander Cody from Star Wars. <laughs> Your Honor, perhaps you can arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, r right. Guard, please bring a box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut crates. Why the hell does he have crates full of donuts? Whatever. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? I just- God. <laughs> Well, just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can tell me- doesn't mean you can push me around. Fuck you. I hear- I hear the safety go off. Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Temper, temper, temper. I thought- I thought- I thought you were worried about unnecessary trauma. He go be unnecessary trauma when there's a bullet through his skull. Joe, you can't flashbang toddlers. <laughs> yes, he can. It's legal. That's <laughs> <laughs> only if they're uh, Japanese toddlers, so you can say you drop the sun on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get, get going. <laughs> Cody, answer his questions, okay? Hey, it's you, nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I have the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edwards, also, I'd like to say so. Why the fuck does uh, Mia look like the tall woman from Resident Evil Village? I don't know. <laughs> Please remember that you're speaking to your job. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, or I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this whole gentle thing. You were present, or er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the er, incident. Yeah, you got a problem with that. Please tell us what you saw that day. 
What, Pops? You want me to tell you when Gramps over there with that beard? Just Mr. Edge would be fine. I refer beard to something. I think he said bearded gentleman. <laughs> I refer to bearded gentleman. This is gonna be a very long day. Incidentally, photograph equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My, my apologies, Your Honor. He said he won't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'll express permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bar- you had to- <laughs> you had to bargain terms with a child. And you lost? Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> this is my new camera. Don't really know how to use it yet. Use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I feel like he may have actually took a budget picture of a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder if this is what he had on the camera. Wait, what? Fuck, I messed it up. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of it in the court record. Oh, very well, Mr. Cody. Latest well, aspect of the court of what you saw on the day of the incident. And make sure you go to graphic detail. I want to see like which angle the blood splatter went on, like everything. Like how far it flew away from the body, how the person, uh, how Mr. Matcher stabbed to death, the spear, like everything. I just need extreme detail. Um, your honor, um, he's Shut eight. the fuck up. Or I'm gonna hold you to the of court. Your Honor, he's seven. <laughs> I'll hold you and the court, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, he's seven. <laughs> Smack, scabble. Mr. Wright is now in contempt of court. Your Honor, he's seven. The bailiffs are like... Bailiff? The bailiffs are like, S Judge, we're, we're not going to arrest him. He, he, he has a point. He's seven. <laughs> you listen to what I say, bailiff. <laughs> he's seven. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Another judge comes and he's like, Judgey, you need to tell him to turn it down, man. He's no, seven. I just turn it. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> I'm not even a part of this case. I'm another judge. I am the Canadian judge. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, you're my cousin. <laughs> you, you need to calm down. He's seven. No, fuck I you. <laughs> fuck you, you Canadian cocksuckers. <laughs> okay, well the judge is dead. <laughs> okay, well the judge is dead. I'm taking over now. born. <laughs> <laughs> Witness. <laughs> I wanted to see. I wanted to see a steel samurai rehearsal just once. Found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. Went through the woods off of, off of the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. And I was going for the studios. And I kind of got lost on the way there for, for like half an hour. Came out this, came out of the studios and there was the Seal Samurai. Totally rocked right before my eyes. He came out, right, came out a bad guy. Of course the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! Had my camera with me. If I if I had my camera with me, that would have been time for the shot. I tell you. Anyways, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Fucking old woman, bitch boy. Ooh. I love how the judge is just Yoda. <laughs> he doesn't speak like Yoda. The defense. May <laughs> Wait, let me try. The defense may begin its cross examination very well. Okay, just just talk normal. <laughs> Bobby, just to remember, you're talking to a bitch. Hmm. Yeah, this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here. Honestly, if like remember that guy, uh, Frank Solowit, who took his hair off and threw it at me. This guy, this kid could probably beat him up. <laughs> 
It was a very strange case. <laughs> yeah, you should just also get Larry arrested. Just save every, you just save the entire saga of dealing with this bullshit. Okay, I remember which what the, which one this one is. Going to the studios. Got a lot of money there though. Came away. Totally rocked right before my eyes came out the bad guy. Of course, this time I took him down, pal. If I had my camera with me, this would have been the time I'd take the shot, I tell you. Oh, you poor, sweet, innocent child. I'm about to end your whole career. OBJECTION! You just threw a camera at his head. <laughs> yeah, he just fucking yeets the camera at him. He, he <laughs> totally just fucking dies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cody. Well, well, that's right. You seem to kill Mr. Cody. Is, is killing children in this country illegal? <laughs> Only if they're orphans, they're illegal. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he's an orphan. <laughs> Cody. No, not. We check his records. Cody, what can you do? What you just said, well, seems a little strange. Didn't you say that before? You always bring your digital camera with you wherever you go. You were quite clear about that. Look at that face! I've never seen. That. I've seen it this face like before, but it's been a while. It looks like he's ready to suck dick. It is the most anime face in these games. <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't tell lies in here. You should understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, putting too much pressure on him? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? The only thing I know is fucking Sparta and throwing bricks at someone's fucking pussy. What the fuck are you talking about? Talk about the good old days. Back we don't when we respect a woman with that hatchet. Okay, stay away from my stay away from my assistant. It's um Too late. a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. The funny thing is, is that this game took place in 2016. <laughs> the fact that the judge doesn't know what that is me is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on this trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? And... Mm. Uh, Mr. Wright. Fuck. Uh, how cruel of you to, to terrorize a poor child, so... Edgeworth, you... Edgeworth, you, you told me two days ago you wanted to shoot a child in the face. <laughs> I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney, nobody should lie in court. What do you mean, a pros or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody. What? <laughs> yeah, that's so how I had my camera. So what? Got a problem with that? <laughs> he is actually standing on a box. <laughs> that That's adorable. <laughs> So, do you have a camera? <clears throat> and did you use this camera? Why would, why would I use it? I was uh, too busy watching. Mm. <clears throat> Very well, please subscribe to the court what you're about. Busy, so busy watching. What I saw. Then just fucking kill right then and there. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Kinda gay, but... It's still awesome. <laughs> so uh, comes in. Well, you see, this is what we wanted to show the kids. That faculty <laughs> is full and hip with the kids. Goodbye. Right's like, um, okay then. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But it was glued to the action. I couldn't take my <laughs> eyes out. Steel Samurai goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then the bad guy stopped moving. Bam! He's so strong. The Steel Samurai rules. Cody, you do realize that you're putting the Steel Samurai in prison by saying that. I don't fucking care. Okay. Uh, uh, ah. Is that all? 
Oh, that was brief and useless. Just chill yourself a little bit, out. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, your cross examination. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Uh, yeah, I can't remember this one. I, I when, when I said, "What the hell am I supposed to do with this?" I, that's what the hell that I was being serious. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Hold it! Just, just you know, contradict every word he said. Just every word. <laughs> what did you do after the bad guy fell, Cody? Yeah, and actually, fight was over so tense. I kind of got scared. Went straight home. Something isn't adding up here. Something about his actions doesn't don't seem right. Hey, Nick. It doesn't seem right because he's deliberately vague. First on the fetch, dude. Find out where we saw it. Grabbed by his neck and thrown him to the ground and put a gun to his eyeball. Um. <clears throat> Hold it! Why? Eh, what do you mean, why? He wasn't. He wasn't. Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Man, I can't just feel sorry. I brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How, how, how did he do that? With samurai kicks and samurai punches and samurai chops and samurai slaps. Something like that. He's Flash. still being vague about it. About this. Wait, right down, give me a look, Pops. How can I play this? Press him harder, Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said he couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah, so what? Yet you missed the most important part. And what's the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap! <laughs> <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fights. But you missed the most important part of the fight. The killing below. Well, he unzipped his pants and sucked his dick. <laughs> Him. No, no, you see, he, uh, sp he used his samurai spear through his chest. My idea makes a lot more sense, okay. Order, <laughs> order! Mr. Wright! How can this be? Can you explain how he might have made something so vital? Um, well, that's the thing. Enix. I believe you're on the right track with this. Wait, why did Cody totally see the climax of the fight? I know you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer! We have ascertained that the young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he Why watch? Why wouldn't he just watch the climax of the fight? Uh, Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why is okay. Cody looking away from the fight? Take that! Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received the cam- this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. 
I'm aware of that too. Oh! Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. Why is he looking at his dick? He was trying to take a picture. Hey! 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 Why the fuck did my bells drop like that? Could fly back into my stomach. Hey. Bullseye. What's your pattern, Bob? You got a thing for picking on little kids? I have a thing for stepping on small children's fucking hopes and dreams. Pressing, not picking. Joe, this is your line. Good job, Phoenix. Sorry. Cody was lying clearly. Now you can realize there's no way he could stand there and watch. Watch stand there watching his hero. And not take a and not but, and not take a picture. Right. Cody! There was only one reason why you would have ever looked away from that fight. It was because you wanted to take a picture. But you, but having just received your camera, you weren't used to how it was working yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? <laughs> yeah. Joe, are you just not looking at the screen? Well, Phoenix. Uh, shut up. <laughs> I bet, I bet you, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. I don't testify again. You're right. Mia means business this time. Your Honor. The defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. But, very well. Cody? Can you tell us about your camera? And what? You know, about why didn't you take a picture of the fight? Hmm. Arm to the real world, kid. <laughs> okay, that was a really mean line from Phoenix. <laughs> He's seven. <laughs> no fuck. <laughs> no fucks given, which is good. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, Pops. Steel Samurai is just escaped the escape from the villain from the clutches of the villain. <laughs> so I held up my foot my camera to take the picture. The lens would no open at times, so I missed it. <laughs> That's all that happened, yep. Definitely he d he definitely didn't die. Ooh. And it's a stranger in that testimony, Mr. Wright. I'm not sure still. I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination. Yeah, okay. You're right, Pops. Steel Samurai escaped from the clutches of the villain. Hold up my camera to take the picture. Something happened. Yep. Hold it! That's all. Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Take a picture? Hmm. I would have had, I would have once at least gotten the lens open. Did he really not take a picture even once? Press him hard. Now nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. It's got to be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye. That how did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hawkins. It's one of my powers. Wow! This feels great. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this. Took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hold it! You erased it. Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai Victorious? Well, you know, why, why would I want a picture like that? <laughs> it's becoming less and less cooperative. Better find a clear contradiction soon, some real solid evidence. How can I pick holes in your testimony? 
Joe, yeah, pay I attention. <laughs> I am. Take up the dirt, Phoenix. Find in what's up this kid's all about. Okay. So that's the last one I need to present something on, I'm assuming? I think so. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this again. I, love, I find it hilarious how he's crying this entire goddamn cross-examination. <laughs> he just has, like, like, his tears are not affected by gravity. I'm gonna assume it's path to glory. It would make sense. Yeah. Take the- OBJECTION! Cody. Take that. <laughs> and what, what? Man, every time you say something followed by- Say Cody followed with it, something bad. Just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Alright. Oh, right. What was it you told me then? Get every my performance. You would take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final bow. I I feel like Cody's voice has like changed every other line and I can't find a like act good voice for him. It's been changed. I don't like I can't come up with something for him. I really can't. Because when I because a voice that I thought could could do that's repeatable would make him sound like too much would sound him would make him sound too much like a girl. But then mm. there's this, which is like very unrepeatable, and he sounds completely different every other line. It's Get him all! Does. I never missed once. Per complete collection. Cody. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe you would just erase it. Wouldn't you have kept it for your album? Ah! Mr. Mr. Right. Fuck. What exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a, it's a collection of pictures of, st of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. I never realized that that actually said Samurai Scrapbook. <laughs> what did you think it said? I, th I thought it just said Path to Glory. I've never actually, like... Okay, the, the first time I actually... The, the last time I actually played through this game was actually on a DS emulator. So that was a lot lower quality. So... Mm uh, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Hmm. Order. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? The Steel Samurai is just a, has just defeated his adversary in a dick sucking contest. I was sort of expect to see a picture of it in his album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. <laughs> ah! No! Wait! No! Wait! Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. He sucked- he actually cut off his own penis. No. Something far more terrible. He had sex with a woman. No, far worse. Say the he line, Joe. respected a woman. No, even more terrifying than that. He helped the old woman cross the street. No, even more terrible. He raised funds to fight against cancer. No, an even more terrible truth. He was working on a COVID-19 vaccine. No, even this truth was even more terrifying. And what a truth it is. Mia, yeah. are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, Nadlon was an inside job. Oh my goodness! Well, you're right, but oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. What you're thinking is right. That's a joke. 9-11 wasn't actually an inside job, but George Bush did, did fucking abuse it. Okay. <laughs> Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Tell them that 9-11 was an inside job. Mr. Wright! 
These are explanations of the core of what's going on here. Um, not only been an inside job and all that. And why was there no picture in the album the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The Steel Samurai didn't win! I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted the photo. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell me the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai that day. No, 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 it's impossible, the Steel Samurai never loses, he never loses anyone ever! Your Honor, the witnesses revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us that he didn't take, the, take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied, said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth! That's like a... why? That's like a line. That I believe that's for Phoenix Wright. It's, it, one of the characters says, You can't handle the truth, right? I... Okay, the, it, there was from a... Di there was a movie... I can't remember who the hell said the line, but there was some movie where somebody said, You can't handle the truth. I don't think it was an Ace Attorney game. But I do think it was a lawyer movie. So, uh, who was that? Mm. Uh, order! I will have an order of... Five chicken McNuggets and uh, a large soda with two number nine with extra dip. Okay, you, wait, you want five chicken nuggets? That'll be $500,000. <laughs> Fuck you. I put my own money. <laughs> well, what in the. Joe, or did, did you. Did you. Did you. I think yeah, I you just cut out. Okay, say the line. Tell me when the controller's gonna die. Thank you, PS4. Jill, say the line again. <laughs> uh, so, what it? I mean, Cody, is this true? What, what, what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. Uh, he... <laughs> and it goes through his fucking mouth and hit the brain. <laughs> the judge shot him. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose the fight, right? Nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. He didn't move. <laughs> Order, order, order. What kind of stuff are you pulling, Mr. Wright? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, or not the victim. According to your witness, the, to his testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we've all made a serious error. An error? And what's all this about? The, ste the Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what, you what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Does Cody really still have to be on the stand? Like, <laughs> yes. Uh. So the Steel Samurai is this photograph. You're saying it was the fuck. You're saying the man in this costume 
was the victim, Mr. Jackhammer. That is what I am saying, Your Honor. Jackhammer was present at the action scene run-throughs that morning. Thus, he, would ob he obviously would have known about Will Power's foot injury. But, 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 wait! There's more! <laughs> Had it, Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? What's... that's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said, of it, said in her testimony. What? A day the murderer I arrived at the garden station at 1 p.m. Did I see Paul Hammer? No. He already got to see the one before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Hammer had left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to the studio. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the, then he snuck into the room and stole the steel samurai costume. Well, why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I, I, uh, God, I can't get his voice right. I get it. <laughs> you think? I thought the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was, so it was a different person inside the suit. Bobs! Huh, what, man, what? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Huh. What? Show us quick. No, hey man, not if you're gonna look at me like that. No! <laughs> Here, this is it. God damn it, I hate my life. <laughs> oh, look at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid it could be anywhere in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. That isn't. This isn't very decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This does not look like it was proof that we needed. So, uh, kind of burn it, LMAO. I'll give it back. And charcoal. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That that photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. She noticed the thing that I did. It said Studio Two. <laughs> what? What? Your Honor. No, you did it. May I see that photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see it. Why not? Phoenix, show him. Show him your small penis. There's what do you mean, what? small? I mean, we all know you want to get, you know, Viagra, uh, check those pills from the black market. Those penis enlargement pills. Let's be honest, we all know about it. But there, more importantly, there's a glaring decisive inconsistency of the facts, as we know, shown, show no in that photo. Show them. You little shit bag. Find the inconsistency of the photo. His um. Ass flat. Hit that! Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Oh, chill. Uh, I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly Clean. not. Clearly not a one, Your Honor. <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But, 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 but that, that's impossible. Hmm? Er? What's, the, what's all this about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the course. <laughs> 
I'll use the studio guide map. The body of the victim was found in Studio 1. However, what we see here, however, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? Does not say 1 on the, on the gate in the photo, Your Honor. Here is the, is the true scene of the crime. Show them. It, it was Studio 2. What? Take that! <laughs> Here, at Studio 2. I, I see. Now explain the two on the day of the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in, in Studio 2. The path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, if the victim went to the Studio 2 before that time. Y yes. Y yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said in the trailer... No one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Only somebody in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene, with access to the scene of the crime. Studio Two. As you may recall, there is a there is a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on the day of the murder, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and D. Vasquez were eating steak outside. They were at the scene of the crime. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the secure... The person that, that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole the Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal the Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or, do you have proof? Give me proof that, Jack, that the victim, Jackhammer, stole the costume. Um... Okay. Um... I think you have proofs of it. <clears throat> um. Okay, apparently we do. Yeah, yeah, yes, we do. I course. have proof. Y you do. You do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, I'm suddenly much less confident. <laughs> I think I have to think this through. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer sold the thing. I know because in so th there's one case. I actually think it's a third game now that you actually have to prove that you actually have to select. I don't have proof, and yeah, it is the pill bottle. Take that. <laughs> this is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. In this same the same table where Mr. Pa Hammer and Powers ate. The, the, the label read sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was, he was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Mmm. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise the suspicion, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. <clears throat> Fingerprint the bottle. An idea. Very well. Let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. 
If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprint should show up on the bottle. Mm. Turns out to be Maya's. <laughs> oh God! I wonder who she was. I wonder what. I wonder who she drew. Why she drugged me? <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court would take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. Telepathically given to the judge. Oh, this thank God. The court was suspended the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed a new possibility in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. You know, the fact that this the fact that this next day takes like an hour is kind of ridiculous when all they need to do is toss the bottle, see that it see that hammer's prints are on it, and then be like, okay, well I guess I guess Powers physically couldn't have done it. Cause he was asleep the whole time. <laughs> oh, but whatever. There's still a samurai seen by Miss O in the back. May have been the victim. Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those and trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Your voice sounds different. Your whole I'm... works to find the answer to the following question. Uh, sorry, I was drink. I was drinking some water. <laughs> Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steer samurai costume? Also, who killed them and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. Nice or grade him. You, you know, I just have an idea. Like, like I think I'm gonna d edit in a Dasani bottle, and I'm just gonna have it placed on Phoenix's desk after a after the break we took to get water. What what drink do you, what drink is Edgeworth what drink did Edgeworth get? Uh, for I me, mean, I pretty, he looked like the type of guy would get like a a lemonade. Yeah, he, yeah, he get he got like a minute made lemonade. There you go. Yeah, it's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth, hmm, you need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you wouldn't even consider the suspicion of Mr. Well Powers. As you say, Your Honor. The trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last penis extension pill. Okay then. Fuck you, I've already. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I'm seven. <laughs> Take it anyway. Throw it, of course, and Jordan. Bye, fuckers. Off to the monkey bars. <laughs> October 19th, 247 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number One. Yeah. That was a close one. You were saved by a hair. That's a, but that's all that counts. I thought I thought seriously about going home about the three about three times during the trial. Me too. Really? <clears throat> You both seem so confident. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe I should take up an a, a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead, uh, dead about three times back there. Me too. <laughs> dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Mr. Powers. <laughs> this game is so funny. <laughs> we have to, we have to go make our final investigation. The, I, I think that's probably why Apollo Justice is my favorite protagonist uh, of Apollo the so he, He's so self-deprecating and he's so fucking funny. <laughs> He's so <laughs> self-deprecating, which I love. It's like, hey God, what truth is like? Oh, why can't I just be a regular demon? <laughs> <laughs> but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tom by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks. And it's and it's definitely going to be your smoking hot boss. I begged him multiple times. I I did not regret it. Okay. <laughs> to be continued. Oh, we made it. <laughs> I don't like.
I was dreading this moment. And we still have at least one more of these to go. <laughs> and then I want to do it. Off. And then I want to do at least one more of these tomorrow before the podcast. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, anyways, thank you for watching this episode of the of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney here on the Boss King Returns YouTube channel. Um. Yeah. Any last words from Joe? Uh. Thank you for watching this bullshit and uh, enjoy your day. Uh. Yeah. Get vaccinated. Bye.